this video, we will be converting improper fractions to mixed fractions. A reminder, an improper fraction is where the numerator is top heavy. This means that the numerator or the top part of the fraction has a greater value than the denominator or the bottom part of the fraction. In comparison, a mixed number is made up of a whole number, like 3 in this example, and a fraction as the 8th we have here in this example. To convert the improper fraction 25 over 8 into a mixed number, we will divide. Remember that the line in a fraction means divide. We start off by dividing 8 into 25 and 8 fits into 25 three times we multiply the 3 with 8 and this equals to 24 we take the 24 and we subtract it from the 25 25 minus 24 now gives us a remainder of 1 the three whole parts becomes the whole number within our mixed number the remainder of 1 becomes the numerator and the denominator stays unchanged. I am going to use an illustration to show you why this method works. Here you can now visually see that 25 over 8, the improper fraction, is equal to 3 and 1 over 8. This is because I have taken 1 two, three, all circles and divided them into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts each. If we now add up the eights of all three circles, you will see that we have a total of 24 eights of a circle. But our mixed number also consists out of a fractional part 1 over 8 and therefore I have used one part out of eight equal parts of a full circle. If we now add all of this together you will see that we have 25 equal parts from these circles. Therefore we have 25 eighths of a circle. If we now add 1, 2, 3 and an eighth together this will give us our mixed number of 3 and 1 over 8. Now that you see this method definitely works, let's do a few examples with a little bit of speed. Here we have three improper fractions that we are going to convert to mixed numbers. As soon as you feel confident to do these on your own, feel free to press pause and then complete the remaining problems and then press play to see if your answers and my answers are the same. Let's start with the first one, 9 over 2. We ask ourselves how many 2's into 9. There are 4 2's in 9 and 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, we have a remainder of 1 that becomes our numerator and our denominator stays unchanged as 2. 9 over 2, the improper fraction, is equal to 4 and a half as a mixed number. Next, we have 17 over 5. So we ask, how many 5's in 17? There are 3 5's in 17. And 3 times 5 is equal to 15. This now means we have a remainder of 2, which becomes our numerator, and our denominator stays unchanged as 5. 17 over 5 as an improper fraction is therefore equal to 3 and 2 over 5 as a mixed number. For our last example, 39 over 4, we ask ourselves how many 4's in 39? There are 9 4's in 39 and 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Once again, we have a remainder and the remainder is 3. 3 is our numerator and our denominator stays unchanged as 4. 
39 over 4 as an improper fraction is therefore equal to 9 and 3 quarters as a mixed number.